You play an important role in helping make your pet's visit fear-free, starting with ensuring she arrives in a calm state of mind. Give any supplements or medications we prescribed during a previous visit. About 15 minutes before your pet enters the carrier or car, apply six to eight sprays of a calming pheromone to the bedding in the carrier. Cover your cat's carrier three quarters of the way with a towel. This way, she has the choice to hide or look out and about. When transporting your cat or small dog in a carrier, minimize movement. If possible, support the carrier from the bottom with one side resting against your chest, as if you are carrying a fragile gift. This helps your pet to feel more secure. Use a leash when walking dogs to the car. If using a carrier, be sure it's properly secured in the vehicle. The floorboard behind the passenger seat is the most secure location for a small pet carrier. Secure large crates or carriers to prevent sliding. The surfaces inside and under the carrier should be non-slip, as well as the car seat surface if your dog is buckled. Play calming music specially composed for cats and dogs, or pop in an audiobook. Cool or warm the car to a comfortable temperature before putting your pet inside. Avoid feeling rushed. If you are stressed, your pet will sense this and may also become stressed. Also, watch your tone of voice. Be matter of fact rather than speaking in a sing-song voice. If you are calm, happy, and relaxed, your pet will be too. Accelerate slowly from a stop. Allow extra distance between other vehicles to prevent sudden braking and take turns slowly. Notify us when you arrive. Rather than bringing your pet into the veterinary hospital, call us to let us know you are in the parking lot. We'll let you know when the exam room is ready. With a little effort, most dogs and cats can have a pleasant or even enjoyable car trip to the vet. Let us know if you need some more tips.